welcome to Loving the Scriptures. I'm your host, your friend, Joshua Odunlade, and together we will be exploring God's Word to find insights, learn from Him, and to fall more deeply in love with Him today. Let's begin. Hello and welcome once again to this episode of the podcast. Today we are going to be learning from the book of John chapter 14 verse 12 to 26. And before we go any further, let's commit this podcast into God's hands. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for bringing us here again today. We are grateful and we are thankful for your love, for your kindness, for your faithfulness of our lives. Lord, without you we are nothing. Lord, we say thank you for the opportunity to come here to learn from you. We are grateful and we do not take you for granted. We say let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Lord, if there is any sin that will hinder our prayers, we ask that you would please forgive us in the name of Jesus. Please wash us clean with your blood in the name of Jesus. Please transform our lives in the name of Jesus. We say thank you, Lord, for your answer to our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So, as I said earlier, today we are going to be learning from the book of John, chapter 14, verses 12 to 26. And I will start by reading the text. So, let's let's go together. But before I read the text, let's give a quick recap of what happened previously. So when John chapter 14 started, we see Jesus saying to his disciples, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, right? Believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back again and have you unto myself. Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Then the disciples were a bit concerned and one of them asked, Philip asked, he said, show us the Father and it is okay for us. And then Jesus was like, have I been so long amongst you that you do not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Once you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So now we continue the text from verse 12. To 26 Jesus is speaking here it's all read I read truly I tell you the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and he will do even greater works than these because I am going to the father whatever you ask in my name I will do it so that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask me anything in my name I will do it if you love me, you will keep my commands, and I will ask my Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. He is the Spirit of Truth. The world is unable to receive him because it doesn't see him or know him, but you do know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live, you will live too. On that day, you will know that I am in the Father, you are in me, and I am in you. The one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father. I also will love him and will reveal myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you are going to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. The one who doesn't love me will not keep my words. The words that you hear is not mine, 
but is from the Father who sent me. I have spoken these things to you while I remain with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything that I have told you. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go back to the initial part of the chapter or of our reading today. Our reading is divided into different parts actually. There's the first part, verse 12 to 14, which really highlights the importance of praying in the name of Jesus. So it says, Truly I tell you, Jesus was speaking, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. Wow. Wait, 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 seriously, did Jesus actually say this? The one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And he didn't stop there, he said, and he will do even greater works than this, my God. Wait, do you mean that Jesus said that we will do greater works than he did? That we will do the same works that he did? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to shift the way I'm seated at this moment. Because even though I have read this while preparing for the podcast, this is dawning on me again that Jesus is actually saying this thing. Like Jesus that does not lie, that does not play, that does not joke. Jesus didn't say this and say, oh, I was joking, you know, you can never do this kind of thing. Jesus said, truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will do these works that I do and he will do even greater works than this i need to believe in jesus honestly if if i truly believe in jesus the way jesus means here then i will do these same works that jesus has done i mean all the things i've been reading about jesus raised the dead opened the eyes of the blind made the lame to walk made the deaf to hear and Jesus is saying that we will do these works too and even greater if we believe in him ah God help me to believe in you God help me to believe in you God help me to believe in you I'm praying I don't know about you God help me to believe in you help me to believe in you Lord please help me to believe in you this scripture comes to my mind do you remember that place where the disciples where somebody brought his son that was sick to the disciples that they should help out you know to heal the son and the disciples tried their best they said all the words they chanted all the chants that they knew they said everything and did everything that they knew but they were not able to heal the boy And then when Jesus came, Jesus healed the boy. And then when the disciples came back to Jesus and said, Why could we not cast out the demon? Or why could we not heal the boy? Jesus said that this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Actually, Jesus did not just say that. He said that because of your unbelief. Then he now went on to say that this kind does not go out, but by prayer and fasting. Dear brothers and sisters, sometimes to believe Jesus, we have to train ourselves in the art of prayer and fasting. I know some of us love food. I like eating too. However, if Jesus is saying here in this John chapter 14, and I'm looking at the time and I'm seeing that we have only talked about one part of this since. So, the past that we did not talk about in this episode, we'll talk about it in the next episode with the with the reading for the next episode too. But if Jesus, just look at just listen to what I'm saying. If Jesus said here that if we believe him, that we will do the same works that he is doing, and that we will even do greater works than he did, then 
there it must mean that we have some level of unbelief inside us that is why we are not able to do these things jesus went on to say that whatever you ask in my name i will do it not so that you may be glorified or so that people will not mock you or so that you will not be disgraced no 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 jesus has a higher purpose for that he says whatever you ask in my name i will do it so that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask me anything in my name i will do it jesus is saying that if you ask if i if you ask anything in his name that he will do it (sighs) okay let's move on verse 15 says jesus now speaking he says if you love me you will keep my commands please let's say together if you love jesus you will keep his commands if i love jesus i will keep his commands now let's go on to see what jesus says about that he says and i will ask the father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever he is the spirit of truth remember jesus said that i am the way i am the truth and i am the life no one comes to the father except through me now we are seeing the spirit of truth whom jesus said he will ask his father to give to us and whom he has given to us the person of the holy spirit Jesus says that the world is unable to receive him. That is, the world is unable to receive the Holy Spirit because it cannot see him and does not know him. But you, talking about his disciples now, you do know him because he remains with you and he will be in you. Dear brothers and sisters, I wonder why Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commands. And then he goes on to say, I will pray my father to give you the Holy Spirit who is the spirit of truth now in my mind I am thinking is it possible to keep God's command without the Holy Spirit is it possible to keep God's command without this counselor that comes to us and says no 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 Joshua don't do this don't do this do that Joshua you cannot fall prey to this no you do that if you love me jesus said you will keep my commands the spirit of truth is the one that can enable us to keep the commands of jesus to keep the commands of god jesus goes on to say verse 18 he says i will not leave you as orphans i am coming to you in a little while the world will no longer see me but you will see me because i live you will live too on that day you will know that i am in my father you are in me and i am in you sure hey my god on that day you will know that i am in my father you are in me and i am in you jesus is in the father you are in jesus and jesus is in you the one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me and the one who loves me will be loved by my father i also will love him and will reveal myself to him i won't talk much about this but let me just hint it we are going to talk about it in the next episode when you keep god's command there is a special kind of love you know there's the love that god had towards the whole world that made him to send his only begotten son into the world to die for the sins of the world but there is this other kind of love that comes when you keep god's command and that love leads to a revelation of who god is look at the text Oh, I said I don't want the episode to be long, but quickly, let's just look at the text together. 21 says, The one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. 
Did you get that? The one who has my commands, that's the commands of Jesus and keeps them. So not only knowing them but also keeping them is the one who loves me. So that shows that you love me when you keep my command. And the one who loves me will be loved by my father. I also will love him and will reveal myself to him. I also will love him and will reveal myself to him. Let's say a word of prayer. Dear Father, thank you for your love. Lord, we ask that you would help us. Give us the ability to be able to obey you. To be able to pray in your name and to believe in you. That this works that you do, that we will do these things too. Lord, I pray that you would give us the ability to love you by keeping your commandments and that you would reveal yourself to us. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I believe you have been blessed by this episode of the podcast. Please follow us on this platform or on wherever you get your podcast. Also, please share with your friends and family so that they can be blessed by it too. Till we meet again, keep seeking, keep searching, keep meditating on God's word and keep on loving your scriptures and keep on loving God. God bless you.